In many ways, a once prosperous country was now no better off than Bangladesh. Uh, the Marcos children had it better. This is their daughter's 21st birthday party. She will be amply provided for. Her parents had set up a trust account for the three children. I mean, Bong Bong and Irene would share this inheritance when their parents died. By 1982, account number C7711 was already worth more than $20 million.
President Mark was very superstitious, and uh, apparently he thought the number 77 was a lucky number for him. Uh, of course, that made us trace him that much easier, that uh, he had only 7,700 accounts. The DeMarcoses disguised their names as Beneficio Investment Inc. and Bueno Total Investment Inc. Now, Beneficio and Bueno are both Panamanian corporations. The reason why so many foreign banks set up in Panama is that easygoing banking and business laws make it a financial center. It is, in effect, a Latin American Liechtenstein and attracts thousands of dummy companies. Have you or associates of yours ever set up dummy companies in, in Panama, in Liechtenstein, in the Dutch Antilles? Of course not. Of course not. And if anybody says that we did, where is the evidence? That somebody has to sign something. Who signed? What connection do we have with? Martin Stavis is a lawyer working on the New York property suit. He says there are documents connecting Marcos directly to that string of dummy companies. I'll read you the first sentence of the first document, which is fascinating. By this instrument, the undersigned, and the undersigned is Joseph E. Bernstein, hereby acknowledges that he shall act as a trustee for the benefit of President Ferdinand E. Marcos with respect to all matters relating to. Astora and the Netherlands and Philippines Corporation. This evidence seems to link Marcos directly to Astora, the legal owner of the $101 million crown building. 